Now is a great time to protect healthy ash trees for as long as it takes. The annual cost of ash tree protection is less than the annual benefit that that tree provides the property. Let's say that we don't do anything and we just let all the trees die and we remove everything, our urban forest is gonna look totally different because I mean, then we're looking at close to 40% of our tree population gone. Emerald ash borer is one of these things that it's not a question of if, it's, a, it's just a question of when. The tree's canopy really starts to thin. So this tree's canopy has been thinning. It's getting past that 50% canopy loss. And it's actually starting to have sprouts along the trunk of the tree as well. Those are some major signs that there's issues with the whole structure of the tree, which is where the emerald ash borer is living. If we're able to actually see D-shaped exit holes at eye level, that means that this tree is fully infested. The chance of the tree surviving a treatment is extremely low. What you can actually see on the bark is you can see where the woodpeckers have been pulling the bark off of the tree. And so you can actually see here that there's bark that's being flaked off and you can see holes. And that's where the woodpeckers found that there's emerald ash borer in the tree and pulled off the bark and now pulled actual larvae out of the tree. 2021 may be the last summer that many homeowners have the ability to protect those valuable ash trees before the conditions worsen beyond treatment and removal becomes the only option. The rate at which ash trees die is not a linear kind of response because it's all related to insect pressure. So the very first tree in town that gets attacked would likely have four or five years before it started to show damage. But as the insects multiply and spread from tree to tree, those attacked later in the infestation are attacked by many more insects, so their rate of decline is much shorter. They can be under attack for a year or two uh, before their damage exceeds the ability to protect anyone. Unfortunately, if you wait until the tree starts to look sick to treat, your tree is already now to the point where it may not fully recover even after treated. It is recommended that treating trees before they get sick is the best way to go. But if your tree is sick, certainly still have somebody come out and assess it to figure out if the tree can be treated or not. When you look at the bark of ash trees, it has this diamond shaped patchwork to it. And it's kind of flaky. And I mean, and that's just the way that the tree grows. One of the main big things to look at is the branching of the tree is oppositely branched. And it's got between five and seven groups of leaves. Honestly, if you're questioning if it's an ash tree or not, contact me and I will be happy to come on out and take a look at your tree for you. So homeowners are responsible for trees within the boulevard, which is defined as from the back of the curb to 11 feet into the property. And they are responsible for caring for the tree, uh, as in treating uh, pests like emerald ash borer, pruning and removal. The options are that you can actually do a trunk injection, uh, which is bichemical, so you drill holes into the side of the tree. The chemical is then taken into the tree, just like you and I get an IV, it's actually a tree IV. So the tree then takes in the chemical and it gets distributed throughout the tree. So trunk injection really allows for professionals to administer treatments at an effective rate or dose directly to the target plant, which is the ash tree and the ash tree only. There's also soil drenches that you can drew. The efficacy of that chemical isn't as good once the tree becomes bigger than about 15 inches in diameter. So about this big of a tree, uh, that makes it so that the tree doesn't take in the chemical and doesn't distribute it quite as well and it's not as effective. The treatments applied just to the soil surface are essentially able to run off and move to non-target plants and not taken up by the, the tree that we really want to protect. We have a deal with Rainbow Tree Care to treat trees for 585 an inch. 
um, and it's a really good deal. So when you get outside of the Hastings area, it gets into $10 plus an inch to treat. You're almost saving 50% uh, savings on treating the tree. If you are under financial hardship, you can then apply to be a part of a repayment plan. So um, the city will actually help then reduce the cost of what it is that you're gonna be required to pay. If you cannot make the payments, you can then have us assess your property taxes and then you can pay for the removals through then repayment plan through your property taxes. If you have any questions on your removal or treatment options on the City Forester for the City of Hastings, please contact me at my email tlucas at hastingsmn.gov or call my direct line at 651-480-6177.